If we want to create a calculation in Cognos report, then we would use query calculation. But beside query calculation, we also have layout calculation. Now, layout calculation is special because it has some special functions that would return some information about our report. For example, name of report, value of parameter, or page number. And then we can use uh, that, those Formations to present them to the user or to change something inside of our report. Uh, this time I will uh, drag this layout calculation icon here beside my uh, list to create a new call. I will release it. And this is dialog similar to a dialog for query calculation, but it is different. Here first we have our query, and then here we have different operators, constants, constructs, and so on, but we have here those special functions. So those are called report functions. And here we have, for example, date when report was uh, executed, uh, name of report, and so on. Uh, this time I will show you row number function. I will add this row number here. I will click on OK, and we would get a new uh, column where for each row we would have its uh, number. If we now jump here to query, we will see that inside of query we don't have another column. So this is outside of a query, and this is some kind of addition to our uh, report. So it doesn't uh, uh, create its values inside of query. Also, we can notice that uh, if I double click here, then inside of this dialog, we don't have that field here where we can uh, give a name to our column. Instead of that, we have just this generic uh, name text item, but we can change this. If I select this cell, if I unlock this cell, then I can double click here on this text item and I can type here something else. For example, I'll just type this uh, pound sign. I will click on OK and I will uh, lock my cell. Now, these special functions uh, can be combined with ordinary functions and uh, columns from our database. For that, uh, I will add this layout calculation again and I will here create uh, another uh, formula. Uh, if we go here to functions, report functions, we will see that here below, uh, we have, beside these special functions, we also have these ordinary functions, date between uh, first of month and so on, uh, <clears throat> different functions for dates, numbers, and uh, text. And I will use them to create new column. So I will type if, and then I will use a row number function, row number is equal to three, then, uh, give me the value from the uh, column here. Else, else return empty string. Now, when I click on validate, this uh, formula will not be valid. And the reason for that is because this is number and this is string. And if uh, needs to have results that are of the same data type, in order to uh, provide that, I will transform this here to text. I will use function number to string, which is available inside of a layout calculation. And now my formula will be valid. And when I click on OK, I would get this. So I only have here in the third row and not in uh, other rows. I will now show you something similar but different. I will jump here to page two. And here we have one cross tab. I will select header of this cross tab and then I will unlock these cells and I will add layout calculation here before the name of a month. And I will use a function that is similar to row number function and uh, that is column number function. That will return number of each column. So I will click on OK and we can see how that looks like, but uh, this is not the great view. So I will double click here on this layout calculation and I will change this a little bit. First, I will transform this number to text by using number to string function. And then I will add, I will add a dot and, and the space. I will click on okay. And this is much better. Now our view is much better. I will lock my cells, but I want to do something more. I want to apply conditional formatting to these uh, columns. For that, I will select this area and then I will go to style variable. I will create a new variable. That variable will be of Boolean type. I will give it a name var uh, odd even column. I will click on OK. 
and then I have to provide a formula that will uh, give that variable a value. And that formula will be, of course, column number. But uh, I don't want just to get a column number. I want to uh, have a true or false depending on that, whether column is uh, even or odd. And to achieve that, I will use a mod function. And the second argument will be two. So this is reminder when we uh, divide this column number value with two. If that column is odd column, then reminder will be uh, one. So this uh, formula will return uh, true for uh, odd columns. I will click on OK. And uh, I will click again on OK. And now that we have uh, created style variable, now we have this button here. I will click on this button. I will select yes. And now I can use any of these uh, properties to uh, create a style when uh, the value of our variable is yes. I will just change background color to uh, this green color. And when I click on OK, all of the odd uh, cones are uh, green. I can also change this to no. And then I can change background color uh, to, for example, this blue color. And now all uh, even colors are blue. Now, uh, where is that variable? How we can change that variable if we want to? Well, for that, we have to go here to report menu to variables. And here is our variable. If I double click on it, uh, then I can change uh, its formal. For example, I will change this number two to number three. I will click on OK. And then I will go back to my page. And here we will see a difference. Now we have one uh, green column and then uh, two blue columns. And then one green columns and then two blue columns and so on. Uh, there are many more of uh, these uh, layout calculation functions. And if we jump here uh, to third page, here we have a list of some of them. On the left side, we have text items. This is text item. And uh, here we can see uh, how uh, our function is named. But on the right side, uh, we have that function executed and we can see result of such function. For example, uh, name of this page is third page. Uh, if we double click here, we can see that that is result of this function. Uh, then uh, we have page number and page count. Now, uh, these two functions will not return correct result inside of edit mode. We have to completely exit edit mode and to execute this uh, report uh, in PDF or something to see correct results for these functions. Uh, this is the name of this report. Then report path is interesting function. Uh, here we can see that this report, the layout calculations, is actually placed inside of folder uh, my folders. And uh, if we uh, try to uh, fix this um, report path because it is really un unreadable, it's cryptic, uh, we won't succeed. Uh, that is because uh, inside the layout calculation, we don't have a lot of text functions. So we don't have enough text functions that would help us to uh, solve uh, this uh, cryptic uh, report path. Uh, then uh, we have uh, this function report create date. And uh, here we can see when this report was uh, made. And report date is the date when this uh, report was uh, last executed. Now, if we execute this report into PDF, we can get result like this. Here we can see that uh, those two functions, page number and page count, are returning uh, correct results. Now here we can see that uh, this is uh, page 5. And this is because uh, in Cognos we only have uh, three pages, but one of the pages is actually split into several pages in a PDF. And uh, we also can see that uh, total uh, page count is also 5.